So I talk a lot about working from the iPad and doing all sorts of different things with the iPad, but I don't think I've ever actually shown what a typical day of me working from the iPad looks like. So that's what this video is all about. I have a ton of stuff to do today. In fact, my task manager is in the double digits, which when that happens, it's it's usually a, a it, it's usually a day. Um, I, I'm a little behind, so I need to get caught up. So I figured I would just show and talk about how I actually work from my iPad throughout the day, instead of just like talking about like new apps or stuff or like showing theoretical things, I would actually just walk you through vlog style, a typical day for me. Uh, right now it's 9.30 in the morning. I'm getting a kind of a late start. I just had some stuff going on, so I'm getting a little bit of a late start, but I've got my iPad here. I've got my coffee here. This video is sponsored by Trade Coffee. So let's get into the day. All right, so I've got my iPad all set up here. I have it in my work focus mode. Time tracking's all going. First thing I typically like to do is I like to go through my task manager and calendar. Uh, you can see right here already, ta things is sitting at 13 tasks. Typically this is like five to seven for me. So I have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, stuff like my old debit card expired, so I need to set up the new one, fix all the billing stuff. I wanna fix some cable management in my living room. I need to get groceries deal with email, I need to write a piece for my friend Tim the Hummock, gotta return some review units, uh, do a weekly review. I typically do those on Sundays, but uh, I had some stuff happen yesterday and I just wasn't able to get to it. Um, I wanna plan out all my videos for March, fix my desk setup, just more cable management stuff. And then of course, I'm working on this video today, just the everyday iPad user, kind of a day in the life of an iPad user video. So after I go through my task manager and calendar and I kind of see what I need to do for the day, I like to journal. And I use journaling as a way to kind of come up with a plan to execute everything, to kind of like come up with the steps I need to do to, to get everything done. I have ADHD and I find if I don't do this, I don't come up with kind of a plan of attack for the day. It, it just helps me accomplish everything I want to do. I, I don't think necessarily you need a journal in order to be successful, but for me, it works. Um, I use the same journal template I we made years ago in uh, for a shortcut that I built. It, it was like a journaling shortcut all in one thing, but with every version of iOS, it always broke. And I just got so tired of having to keep fixing it. So I took that journaling template and I put it in GoodNotes and I use the Apple Pencil. I have a paper like on my iPad and stuff like that. So it feels like I'm writing in an actual notebook. I, I really like that. Overall, it, it's, it's a good experience. I tried typing a journal and I just didn't like that. Uh, it just felt a little disconnected. I, I don't know, just there's something about like handwriting this out. And I'm not a big fan of handwriting things, but this particular particular instance, I really like that. So I'm just using GoodNotes here and this journal template and I just kind of come up with a plan for the day. So I got a few things I want to do today, but typically when I have a lot of admin work or a lot of research and stuff like that, I like to uh, stand at my desk here. It'd probably help if I hit the right button to make everything come up. Uh, I'm also going to use the new charge in mag float. A couple months ago I made a video about this thing. I had access to the prototype, but now I have the final version. So I got that here, this is a little too high. So now I have the final version here. It's really good, I really like it. Uh, not sponsored or anything. Uh, but I'm gonna use that and I'm also working on a bunch of keyboard reviews too. So right here I have the Keychron K7. So I'm gonna use this keyboard for a little bit right now uh, while I do some admin tasks. And then I'm gonna also use uh, another keyboard here a little later. Most coffee from grocery stores is stale or out of date or questionably sourced, but we get stuck in a rut and we just gravitate towards what we're used to and what we're comfortable with. Well, 
Trade, the sponsor of this video, can help you out with that. Trade Coffee is all about finding fresh coffee you will love. Trade Coffee sells from the freshest roasters, ethically sourced beans from America's best roasters. They ship free to you as often as you like, whole or ground. Whether you like instant coffee or you want the latest or exclusive blends, Trade's real coffee experts taste over 500 roasts and use technology to match your ideal coffee coffee based on your taste preferences and brewing methods. Take the coffee quiz to get started. Trade guarantees you'll love your first bag or they'll replace it for free. So I'm somebody that's just always gone to the generic brand coffee place and just got coffee in the morning because I didn't know how to make cold brew, which is the kind of coffee I like. I don't like hot drinks. So I took Trade's coffee quiz and I told it the stuff that I like. I told it that I liked cold brew. I told it that I liked lighter roasts as opposed to darker roasts, that I liked extra flavors. And it sent me a bag and I made cold brew and cold brew takes about 12 to 18 hours to make. So I made it the day before tried it this morning and it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. So I'm going to go all in on this and just start making my own coffee. Not only will it save me money in the long runs, but honestly, I thought it tasted a lot better. And if you're curious about what I got, it's this one from this company called Huck. It's Flores Be Belez. I, I just butchered that, I'm so sorry. But it has notes of milk chocolate, toffee, and almond. That, I mean, it's amazing. It's really, really good. So uh, if you like cold brew and you like a little extra flavors, maybe give this one a shot or take the coffee quiz and find out what you like yourself. To get started, I do recommend taking the quiz. So you can go to drinktrade.com forward slash lolly, link right here, and you can start your journey to a perfect cup of coffee. That's drinktrade.com forward slash lolly for $20 off your first three bags and to take the coffee quiz. So now that we're done with all of the journaling and we know what we're doing for the day, uh, I, I'm set up here. I like to work at this desk when I'm doing like a lot of administrative and research stuff with my iPad, just because on my other desk over here, uh, it's more set up for video editing. So it's got like an extra wide monitor, a lot of studio monitors. Like it's got my fancy mechanical keyboard and all that stuff. I don't really want to undo all that stuff, especially since today I am using different keyboards that I like this Keychron K7. There's a couple more over there charging. So um, yeah, I, I'm just gonna work over here primarily. I also really want to give the mag float uh, a good test for a couple of weeks. And this is a much better desk to do it at because I can stand up, sit down, try different angles, all that different stuff. So I'm gonna be working primarily at this desk today. Sorry about the overhead rig here. I use this all the time, so I don't really want to disassemble it because it's kind of a pain to take apart and put back together. Um, but now that I know this, I'm gonna just focus on some administrative tasks. Uh, there's some emails I need to deal with. I really need to catch up on all my email, but there's a few important emails I'm gonna deal with first. We're gonna plan out March, uh, all the videos and stuff that I wanna do for then. Make sure all the sponsorships and stuff are covered. Um, and then we'll go from there. I think after that, we're gonna take some notes on these keyboards and um, deal with some personal tasks as well. When it comes to planning out videos and stuff like that, I actually have this Airtable database here uh, with videos that are active projects. So stuff I'm actively working on. These are the four videos I'm actively working on right now. Um, ideas, I call them on deck. Uh, shorts, things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of figure out from what's on deck I wanna do for the month of March. Uh, you can see February is a pretty busy month. Uh, I kind of don't want to repeat that because it was it was nuts, but uh, I'm going to see if I can kind of, you know, fill in here. I'm going to start working on some shorts in a couple of weeks. So we're going to uh, fill this out here and see uh, what we can go do and what we can go from and make happen in March. spoil it too much but I just planned out March and there, there's gonna be some videos you guys like I think I, I'm pretty excited for March it's gonna be real nerdy and very uh, very me if you know what I mean so uh, hopefully you guys like what I just planned out I'm not gonna spoil it so if you haven't subscribed you gotta subscribe in order to see it but uh, 
March is taken care of, we have email taken care of, we've journaled. Today's going pretty well. So uh, it's 10.20 uh, right now. We did all of the administrative stuff in about an hour this morning, including filming everything, which took time to do all the setup and stuff. So pretty good. Next up today, I am going to be working on the script for this keyboard. This is the Keychron K7. Uh, Keychron actually sent this to me last year, 2021, and uh, I've been meaning to do a video about it, but I haven't had a chance to. Sorry, Keychron, uh, but I'm working on it now. So I'm gonna be working on the script for this. Uh, when I do scripts, I write everything in drafts. I use drafts for all my note taking, research, long form writing. Uh, if I'm composing an email and I like really just wanna like think it out and like really just make sure I format everything properly, I'll, I'll do it in drafts. Um, drafts, the motto, well, it used to be like tech starts here. Now it's like the Swiss army knife of text. Full disclosure, they have been a sponsor in the past, uh, but it's an app I use every single day. I, I wouldn't matter if they were a sponsor or not. Like I, I use it all the time. So um, I'm, uh, I'm working on this right now. Uh, so it's the Keychron um, script. So yeah, let's get into that. Okay, so script for this guy is written. I will film the video tomorrow for this. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and do the whole video tomorrow. So A roll, B roll, edit, the whole shebang. Uh, I'm gonna try and knock it out tomorrow. Uh, I have some stuff being delivered here in just a second. So I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, but then after that, we're gonna do some research. So I like to sit in the chair that you guys see in the back of this videos all the time. Sit down, grab my iPad. Uh, go through RSS, go through newsletters, stuff like that, and just kind of like see what's going on in the world. Uh, I also like to play with some shortcuts and stuff like that. So uh, I like, usually like to spend about an hour a day or something just kind of playing around, uh, fiddling, and uh, just seeing what's going on. Um, it usually helps me come up with some really good video ideas. In fact, some of my best video ideas have been born during that time. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take care of these deliveries and then um, we're gonna do that. So like I was saying, I like to sit down, just kind of go through RSS and things like that. Um, I've talked in the past about the RSS reader, Net News Wire that I use and Feedbin and all that stuff. So. Uh, I just like to spend a little bit of time going through everything, you know, not not too long. Uh, I got a lot of lot to do today, like I talked about already. But uh, we've been making some pretty good time already, so let's just uh, go through everything. The other thing I like to do during this time is I like to go through the app store, see if I can find any new and interesting apps that have either been featured or I like search categories for where I think. Uh, apps could do really well or apps have been missing from certain things like I, you know sometimes i get on a real music kick or i look for like games or productivity stuff so i i just like to go through the app store kind of see what's there uh play around you know do that kind of thing with uh, research taking a break you know going through the app store reading all that stuff out of the way i'm gonna get back to writing scripts uh, i'm working on the air 60 keyboard now I've been using this one for a couple weeks and I like the design of it, it's really cool. I'll save the rest of it for the video. Um, it's an interesting keyboard, that's for sure. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about the setup that I have going on right here. Cause normally you guys have seen desk setups on this other desk in the past, but this is kind of like what I do when I'm like really focused. You know, I'll grab my AirPods, grab the AirPods Max, throw these on, let it, do all the connecting stuff um, and I will work from here. So right now uh, I've been do using a whole bunch of different iPad stands, but right now, like I mentioned, I'm using the Mag Float by Chargin. This one's brand new. Uh, I got to try out the prototype version months and months ago, but this is the final version I purchased with my own money. Uh, and it's really good. It's really solid. Any wobble you have seen is from this desk because it's not super sturdy. It may be a standing desk and it might be kind of heavy, but it's not the sturdiest piece because it's like the, the top part is too, it, it, it's weird. But any wobble you see is desk related. 
Um, and then, like I mentioned, I have external keyboard. I was using the K7 earlier this morning. Now I'm using this uh, Air 60 by Efi. E Efi. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce the company name. And then, of course, the Magic Trackpad, which is the best mouse trackpad to use with an iPad. Um, I really wish like third-party mouses worked well and you can like assign gestures and stuff But like if you're if you want to do like stuff to get to the app switcher Or like to go home and stuff like that right from the keyboard to trackpad You really got to use the magic trackpad. So that's kind of a bummer there um, But yeah, no this whole setup works really well together. It gives me a good ergonomic height to kind of work at sit at um, So the iPads up high I've got a keyboard that I like and I've got a trackpad and mouse that I like so the whole setup itself, really cool, but I'm gonna get to writing on this keyboard, so let's get to it. That's it for this video. This is the first time I've done this kind of vlog style. Let me show you how I work throughout the day kind of thing. Let me know what you think. Um, this was a very typical like administrative task writing day for me. I didn't do any filming or anything like that, except obviously for the video that I'm filming now, but I didn't do any like massive B-roll projects where I'm using this overhead rig or I'm editing a big video or anything like that. It was, it's a pretty standard typical work day uh, when it's a non filming day for me. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. My thanks to Trade for sponsoring this video. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.